What is up, YouTube? Case Must Primary back at you with yet another video. This time we're doing another review. And we're going to be taking a little bit of a trip down memory lane, I guess. These past few months or so, I've been feeling a bit nostalgic of stuff from my childhood. Stuff I enjoyed when I was a kid. Maybe some stuff I still enjoy now that I'm an adult. And just stuff I've held on to all these years. Found a bag of my old toys earlier today. Found some of my old Transformers. But that's not what we're talking about in this review. We're talking about two things. We're actually in one of my earliest YouTube videos that I filmed here on YouTube when I started my channel ten years ago. And that is... These. Original Yu-Gi-Oh! Toy Dual Discs. These were the things that every kid wanted to have when you were a Yu-Gi-Oh! player back in the day. So I figured I'd take a look at them. You will notice they are not in pristine condition. These are from my original collection I had as a kid, from when I was a child, so they're not going to be 100% perfect. I don't have all three of them, or all four of them. I don't have the original version that was released for Battle City, and I don't have the 5Ds version. The 5Ds version was actually never released in my jurisdiction when it came out, so... Yeah. So we'll start with the Academy one. Of the actual toy dual discs, this one's actually the most compact. Although, in standby mode, as you can see here, it doesn't actually resemble the one from the show. In the show, this part here would wrap up alongside the graveyard, and then for dual mode, it would extend... I can get it to rotate. There it goes. There it goes. And then the blade would pop out like so. So you can see there, there it is in dual mode, and the, this piece here would connect to the main hilt. But this is the very one I had back in the day. This one was my personal favorite just because it was blue. See the arrow stickers on the monster card zones are fading. Deck slot can hold about 40 cards. Life point counter doesn't work. The batteries are dead. Although, the buttons do work, although, if you remember, one of the issues this toy had back in the day, well, with the card game, where even if you push that button into one spot, it doesn't actually move the digit, it just lights up the display. But other than that, it does have the slots for your deck, your graveyard, monster cards, spells and traps, field slot. I know someone's going to ask, and the answer is no, I do not have the seal of Recalcos. As much as I want that card in my deck, I also fear using it because of how it worked in the show. The cards I do have in here, if I can get them out, are just cards I got in my dual terminal. When I had it at the, when they, my local comic shop had one. Unfortunately, my local comic shop has closed in the last few months, so... Oh, well. On the bottom, it does have this Velcro strap, so you can... Put this thing up to your arm. So now that's, yeah. Put this thing up to your arm. Wear it. But that will not fit these sausage arms. At least not anymore. That is, look at that, it's tiny compared to these big wrists. It won't fit. But like I said, this one's the most compact of the two. So just close it up. I'm just going to pull the field spell slot out to close it. And then just rotate. Now it's back in standby mode. Like in the show. Kind of. This one is the more show accurate in both standby and dual mode. And this one was also personally my favorite because it was the newest at the time. And you can see how this thing's worn out. The stickers, the some chipping on the plastic. Uh, there's even a a little bit of a crease in the plastic on the the wrist piece there. It doesn't even have the little thing in the middle for the strap. This has the Velcro. This one functions the same way. Pull, extend for dual mode. Like I said, this one was my personal favorite. The one I used the most often, and when I broke my original dual disc, this was the one I always had slapped on my arm. And also, if you couldn't tell, this is also where... I keep my deck. If I can get it out. This is not my original deck from when I was a kid. This is just a random mishmash of cards I've put together. Which, which card is? Oh. 
just a random mishmash of cards that they've assembled over the years, like Rare Metal Dragon from the movie, Hero Signal from GX, uh, XYZ Dragon Cannon from Kaiba's deck. Let's see what other cards do I have. Got a few Pot of Greed. This is illegal and banned in most tournaments. Let's see. Zolga, one of Shizu's cards. Wing Karibo, this is the, actually, this is one of the few cards from my deck. And it's, you can see how badly banged up this card is and how often I used it in duels. Dark Hole, this was my brother's secret weapon. Embodiment of Apothesis, this was from a Shonen Jump magazine. I'm sure there's other cards in here that I, are good. I even got some fake god cards. Fake gods. Slifer, Raw, and Obelisk. I had legitimate versions of Slifer and Obelisk at one point, but my brother bet on them in a duel and lost, so I don't have them. Paladin and White Dragon, helpful for when summoning Blue Eyes. Monster Reborn, a staple, also illegal. This is uh, White Magician Pikachu. This was given to me by someone I dueled with often. This was like their, their favorite card. I don't know why he parted with it. There's another card in here. Boganian, one of Merrick's cards. I like this one, Destiny Hero Fearmonger, one of my personal favorites. Red Eyes Black Dragon, anime style artwork. Sphinx to Leia from the movie. Pets in the Dark Clown. It always upset me that they made this card, but not Deck Destruction Virus. I only have the one of them. Harpy Lady number one, Maya's card. Exchange of the Spirit, also used by Ashizu. Very lethal. Soul Release. I personally prefer Dark Core. Mammoth Graveyard. Also from my Yugi deck from back in the day. Another card, Exud, Master of the Guard. I had no idea how to use this card back then, but if it's of Exodia, I had it in my deck. Mystical Space Typhoon, very lethal. Summon Skull, another one from my original deck. Because I loved Yugi. Guy of the Fierce Knight, also from Yugi's deck. Dragon Piper, I think I got this from. I didn't get this from Kai, but I don't have Dragon Jar. Thinny and the Great Sphinx, also from a movie pack. And last but not least, two of the Sacred Beasts Uriah and Haman. So there is that. The deck slot on the Academy disc is actually big enough to hold a bigger deck of cards. As well as cards with sleeves, if you're into that type of thing. The thing is, when you have a bigger deck, you gotta put your deck back in increments. I also have some other cards in the graveyard slot. Kind of like my extra deck, I suppose. These are also more... Uh, dual terminal cards. More of them. All but a few. All with these three. These three cards. One of them is the nicest, one of the cards I have that's oldest and also in the nicest condition. Panther Warrior. Got this in a Collector's Tin all those years ago with Joey. One of my special cards. And these two cards are the ones with sentimental value, at least to me, because these were two cards I used a lot in my deck. One of them being Robotic Knights. I love, I love Knights. This was a card I had in my deck a lot. Always got wiped out, but pretty helpful. And this is by far the oldest card in my deck. I can't believe I still have this all these years later. Time Wizard. This little guy, I stood the test of time. I was really obsessed with wizards as a kid. I wore a wizard hat all the time as a kid. So when I was getting into the game, someone gave me this card to put in my deck. And it was pretty helpful. I usually just don't really summon this monster very often for the, the special ability. I mainly keep it in my deck for its sentimental reasons. But still, these things bring back memories. Both of them. They're pretty rare to find. You know, just one of them will set you back a pretty penny on eBay. Finding all three or all four of them is even harder. And I can only imagine what the price is going to be once the Proplica version Drops in a few months. That high-end, prop-quality version of the dual disc. 
can only imagine how much that one's going to sell for. I thought there was one other card I was forgetting. There was one other card I was going to show. Oh, this one. This one's pretty lethal. Nico Mannequin. During your opponent's turn, when this card is sent to the graveyard by the effect of your opponent's spell, trap, or monster, your opponent's turn ends. This was a lethal card. Certainly an ace in the hole when playing against certain opponents with had a strong monster on their side of the field and tried to destroy multiple monsters with one attack or multiple attacks to wipe out the duel, or to end the duel in that one turn, prevent a one-turn kill. So if you grew up playing Yu-Gi-Oh! or watched the cartoons like I did growing up, maybe hunt one of these things down for sentimental reasons. Or if you want the original version, wait for the Proplica one to come out in a few months. It's a lot more expensive, but it's a higher-end quality prop. It'll be worth it. I guess that's about it. Later, guys. I am out of here.